Hey again, Kevin here. We're gonna look at some basic shape layout today so that you can make some marks on the ground and discuss options and layout with your clients. A good layout means everything is well thought out and pre-planned, such as with these large tiles so we don't have a really awkward sliver anywhere. And for footings, for bridge, um, really just allowing us to start to put what we have on plan or what we have in our heads on the ground accurately so that there's no surprises down the road. Okay, so let's start just with a basic square. We're gonna use an existing straight line, so most often would be uh, the line off of a house. So parallel to that or perpendicular to that, we can start just using uh, our dimension and an initial straight line. So that would be the bottom. And what we wanna find is the top left corner and make sure that it's square. So we're gonna use Pythagorean's theorem, working off of a baseline. So once again, the straight line off of a house or existing concrete, and we need to know where to find and place that stake to make a square. So three, four, five, you can double it up as well. Uh, basically, we're going to start just by marking out three feet and four feet on either side. And then we're going to use the five foot measurement in between and the intersection of those three to create a square. So we'll set that far pin, get it close, and then I'll pull my measurement to five. And then basically, I'm just going to move that far stake until that point of intersection matches up so let's keep it nice and simple now that it's matched up we adjust it a couple inches back and forth either way until we get it square and then we lock that pin in and then we're good to go so let's take another look at that this would be with some help um, which definitely makes things nice and easy and let's see it in real time here so I'm just using off of my baseline I'm using a nice big square just to get it close and then pulling a three and using the other end of the square, which is our four feet and a five across. And that sort of gives me a sense of where I need to adjust the line to, uh, to get a perfectly square. And from there, the next corner, we can simply just pull our measurements from each point that we already know and find the intersecting point there. Just a quick way to do that. We could also square off of our baseline again to make it even more accurate, um, but this will get us pretty close. And now we have four points of a square, which we can tie our string lines and set our heights to. So yeah, once again, you can double up the three, four, five method um, if you're doing a really long straight run, just to make it even more accurate. You're basically just creating a very large square on the ground. Uh, you can also double check your diagonals, make sure they're the same. And now we're gonna sort of switch gears and I'm making a center point here in which we're gonna do a circle. So you decide on your radius. Let's say in this case, we're doing a paving stone circular pattern inside of a square. Uh, decide on your radius and then use a string line or a measuring tape attached to that center pin I just laid out there. And I'm basically just going to hold my spray can at that measurement and fire my way around the circle. Makes it really nice and accurate to start and then you'll likely want to keep that center pin in place for as long as you can um, until you start laying your pavers. And then you can just double check it and get your papers really nice and circular. And now let's switch gears once again to more of a curvilinear layout, which uh, definitely just takes a little bit of a creative eye. So we're gonna just start at the corner here. I'm gonna go four feet and make a nice pathway width there. Just create a starting point at four feet. And then I'll go to the very other end and mark out that same width. 
and I really just want to visualize when I'm on the ground where a nice sweeping curve may be. So it's easier said than done, but it takes a little bit of time. You can mark it out a few times and create the desired shape that you're looking for, discuss it with your client. Um, I find that just sort of visualizing it, um, just sort of noting in your head as you're spraying out your first line where you want the curve to go and just sort of piece it together with the little dots and then you can just transfer that line to the other side um, measuring across and making dots and then connecting them so there you go a nice smooth curve into our circular and square pattern so good talking points for uh site being with your client let me know if you have any questions talk to you soon don't forget to like and subscribe too